So as many of you know, I did a uh, a more recent update surrounding Jonathan Majors. Well, this next update that just came out like a couple of days ago is very eye-opening indeed. And I hate that I have to get this from this web from this particular website. I don't know why I stopped sharing. Hold on, y'all. But there's even more interesting information coming out about this Jonathan Major situation. That even with this, his it still put a dent to his reputation. But we'll see what happens. I won't hold my breath. So this is off of TMZ. And it says, Jonathan Major's video, witness prove I didn't strike ex-girlfriend. She went clubbing after the incident. And I believe they actually have pictures of her at the club. It says, Jonathan Majors says the man who was driving him and his now ex-girlfriend, thank God, the night of their alleged domestic incident will testify the actor did not strike her. And he claims there's video proof she was not injured when she went to a, out to a club after their altercation. Jonathan's attorney, Priya Chaudhry, filed docs Wednesday in Manhattan, informing the court the driver witnessed what went down between Jonathan and the woman back in March. According to the docs obtained by TMZ, the driver saw the woman assault majors around 1 a.m. on March 25th while she was attempting to steal his phone. And shout out to Keith Lee Petway, for becoming a member of the channel. I definitely appreciate it. Further, the Creed 3 star says the driver will testify he never struck the alleged victim in any way at any time or even raised his voice. Majors and his attorney also say the driver saw her hitting, scratching, and attacking Jonathan, and that Jonathan asked the driver to stop the car so he could escape her attack, which he did. The woman allegedly told police she suffered a broken a broken finger and a laceration behind her ear during the altercation. However, in the document, Chaudhry says they have proof that is a complete lie. Now, what you see right here is security footage at the club, and they put a, a red circle right here around the girlfriend. And there she is right there. Uh, I don't know if she's giving something to the DJ or what, but that's her somewhere, right, her right here. She says they have hours of security videos showing the woman went clubbing and got drunk after Majors left her in the car. She also texts him, accusing him of infidelity and threatening suicide. As for what happened while she was out at a nightclub, Majors' court filing includes screenshots of security videos showing the woman freely using her right hand, which she claimed Majors injured. And here's another image of her right here. And that's her right here. In the videos, they say she casually pushes her hair behind her right ear, reaches into her bag several times, sorts through credit cards, handles phone, holds a menu, and easily a glass of champagne. Now, mind you, this is a woman who allegedly her hand or her finger is injured. Now, my thing is this. If that's injured, how are you able to do all these things with an injured hand? Furthermore, why are you still in this club? You should be trying to seek medical attention. They say she was seen partying pretty hard, throwing back shots and champagne with friends without any visible sign of injury. And here's another image of her right here. When her night out at the club was over, they claim she showed up at Major's home at 3.23 a.m., entered his apartment, and called him... 32 times and sent several angry, jealous text messages. Majors was not home when she got there. Chaudhry says none of the text messages accused Jonathan of injuring her, nor does she mention any discomfort from alleged injuries. They say Majors got home at 11, 13 a.m. and found her unconscious and half naked on the floor of his walk-in closet. He also discovered she allegedly threw up in his bed and told him she'd taken a few sleeping tablets. Majors then called 911 and claimed when paramedics arrived, the woman repeatedly told them, I don't know, when asked what happened to her. Now, this is a more clear image of her right here, just because this is from a body cam footage. 
So this is her right here. You can see a more better clear. It's kind of a side profile of her face, but you can tell it's, it's better quality than what you saw in the club. In the document, Chaudry claims body cam footage shows police interviewing the woman and clearly, co listen to this, y'all, and clearly coaching her what to say or coaching her to say that Mr. Majors grabbed her by the throat. Chaudry claims the alleged victim never made that claim to anyone prior to the officer's direction. TMZ broke the story. Majors was arrested on March 25th and charged with misdemeanor assault, aggravated harassment, attempted assault, and harassment. Chaudry's and Majors want the DA to review their evidence swiftly and dismiss these false charges against them. This is as we reported, the case has already cost him a lot professionally. His management team and PR firm reportedly dropped him, and the U.S. Army yanked a popular recruiting commercial starring majors and not only that but even some movie roles i think he was part of that they ended up dropping those as well now if y'all remember before this came out and what i talked about came out well actually after what i talked about came out and before this came out so it was in between if y'all remember there was some stories that went out saying that a whole bunch of other women went in told their stories or was going somewhere to say that Jonathan Majors was this way and he's this way and how he is when it comes to women and they're not surprised that what happened happened. Let me tell y'all why they did that dog pile. But before I say why, I, why they did that dog pile or try to do it, I want to hear from y'all in the chat. Tell me why do you think these alleged victims, I call them phantom victims, apparently went and said that Jonathan Majors did this. Like all of a sudden, all these women just came out and said something. I want to see if someone in the chat is, if we're, if, we're, if we're lined up in the same line of thinking. And I see y'all, I see a lot of people came in for this discussion because the view count went up. You're right, Donna. They were quiet all the time. Like, why now? Uh, DSM Center said, looking for money. I mean, looking for a bag. Bert said money. Uh, Chris said they still mad at Bill Cosby. People said money. Either they were paid or scorned exes. They were hired, so on and so forth. Money, money, money. Okay. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of people say money, but let me tell you what I believe it is. Because money can be the easiest thing. Money could be the easiest thing to go after. Destroying the reputation could be even easier but i'm going to tell you why i believe they did this and i want y'all to hear me good when i say this the reason i believe all these random so-called women who just now want to say something for whatever reason is because if this case right here doesn't land the way they want it to as far as on behalf of the ex-girlfriend then that means they can have them on the back end to continue the dog pile on they can say well this one didn't work but we got about a hundred more in the back that said that he is what he is that's why i believe the dog pile is happening they're back up Just in case this happens to fall through, they have backup. That's what they did with Bill Cosby. Only one was going after Bill Cosby. Then all of a sudden, every week, it was like 10, then like 50, then 100, and so on. It was these astronomical numbers. They had to have backup just in case the one fell through. So keep an eye on that. And remember, one of the people who he went to school with said that Jonathan Majors had a tendency to be like this, which that has not been proven. So 
So they figure, let's get the people on the court of public opinion. And that's and that'll just work because it's worked for us in the past. But like I said, Jonathan Majors could be completely innocent of everything he's been accused of. And he could very well be. However, this is a black man in America who's very successful and got successful very, very fast. This was a white woman that he was involved with. That this happened. All they need her to do is saying that she that he did something to her. And that's it. This is the second time this year that has happened. The first time was with Michael Irving back in February. And we found out, you know, we saw the end game of that. Unfortunately, he ended up losing his Super Bowl gig because of it. Now we have Jonathan Majors. Keep in mind, for those of you who watch my Black Massacre series, we'll be coming up on episode 17 on Wednesday. What was the common denominator for the last few episodes of my series? Put it in the chat. What was the common denominator for the last few episodes of my Black Massacre series and why these towns got destroyed? Jay Barry said lies. Tahada Hada 420 said white women. Creed Man said white women. Miss Renee said the white woman. Burr said the white woman lying. So on and so forth. When I tell y'all, listen to me when I tell you, when I tell you that they are their ancestors, what's different? Between what that white woman did with Michael Irvin, now Jonathan Major's ex-girlfriend, and all the other ones we've heard, how were they any different today than they were from back then? The only difference between between then and back, uh, now and back then is that back then they ended up destroying whole towns behind lies from them. Now they don't have to do that. They'll just destroy the person. But the scary part about it back then is that not only did that lie affect that black man that they put it on, but it affected everybody and everything around him because it wasn't enough just to go after the man. We got to go after his family. Let's go after his wife. Let's go after his children. And once we go after the family, let's go after their economy, their businesses. And once we do all of that and clear the air, we're going to move right on in and set up shop with the money we took from them and claim it as ours and say, we built it. Wash, rent, Repeat. A tale as old as time. And then they sit there and try to say that we're paranoid. And that we're making it all up. Like I said, this right here that's going on with Jonathan Majors, he's just a microcosm of a bigger issue. He's the micro of a macro. What does Harvey always say? A proxy? This Michael, I mean, uh, Jonathan Majors is a proxy. But hey, what do I know? But we'll continue to follow this story. His court date is actually on uh on May 8th. So it's coming up in a little less than a month. So We'll see what happens.